What's up guys, it's Matt Collins Jones here, also known as the D365 Geek, and today we are talking about Power Automate and Office 365 for Outlook Connector, and we are looking at the action which is Get Room Lists V2. So what is a room list? I didn't know this before I started uh, researching this and looking into it. A room list is a way to group rooms together in your Outlook. So as you're creating an appointment in Outlook and you want to book a meeting room, Historically, you would have to select the individual meeting room that was available to you, and you'd have to look at each calendar entry in each calendar and find out when that was available. A room list is the ability to group several of these together. So if you have several offices uh, around the globe or around the country, you could have a room list based on that location, and that location's room list then contain the, the rooms inside of it, and you can see which ones are available, and this scheduling engine inside of Outlook will help you select the right one and then like auto select and, and select the right one for you. So this is a really useful feature. It's not something that I was very aware of uh, coming into this, but I'm not an Office or a Microsoft 365 person. I'm more of a Dynamics or a CDS or Power Platform person. So this has been a really interesting use case for me. So in terms of this, um, you, I'm in Power Automate here, and I've got a manual tree of flow. That's because I don't actually need any information from my Outlook or my Exchange at all. Uh, let's trigger it. I can click on New Step. I can use the Office 365 Outlook Connector here, and I can scroll down until I find the action, which is Get Room List V2. At this point, I don't need any additional information. So there's no additional information being requested. What it's just going to do is just going to look at Exchange and my permissions, and it's going to pull back the room list based on the information I have access to. So if I save and test this, so I'll click on Test, I'll perform the trigger action, we'll save and test. We'll run the flow. And we can expand this and we can see we have two room we have two room lists in our room list. So I've set these up. The first one is called my my first room list, and the second one is called my second room list. So not not uh, great names, but uh, they work. So I set these up. So we, we do only get a couple of pieces of information. We only get the name of the room list and we get the address of the room list. So the address of the room list, that might be useful in case we need to use that somewhere else and get some information about the address. Um, maybe, you know, maybe some information about the calendar. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, maybe some information about the calendar and we can get that um, from using the room list and then passing that to another action in exchange and finding out the availability of that room. So that's where I think this is really powerful is where you can get this room list information, you can find out what's available, you can then try and schedule this inside of uh, Power Automate or, or some other feature. So it's really useful. Um, another note is you'll notice that these say M365. Um, I'm doing this in a demo attendance at the moment because Room lists aren't available in the UI. The only way you can create a room list is with a PowerShell script. So you have to connect your PowerShell to your Office 365 environment, and then you can create a room list, and then you can add rooms to that room list. So it's a little bit more involved. It's not something you just try to do through the UI. You do have to run PowerShell um, to do that. But I, within a few minutes, I found the necessary PowerShell scripts. It's just a case of copy and pasting, changing some credentials, uh, ch changing some parameters. It's really straightforward. Uh, I'll put a link to them in the uh, in the description below so you can get the information if you want to start creating room lists. And then you can use these cool actions inside Power Automate to do awesome things. So what do you guys think? Is room list something you knew about? Is it a feature you use at your business? Is this action something that you use all the time? Let me know what you use it for down below. If you enjoyed this video, if you could like it and share it with your friends, that would be much appreciated. If you've not already, hit the subscribe button and stay up to date with all my latest videos, and I'll see you next time.